Welcome to Spotlight on Diabetes Education. I'm here with Patty Urbanski at the scientific session in Orlando 2024. We have learned so much about nutrition and how can diabetes care and education specialists apply it into their practice. So Patty, what have you learned? Tell us more about nutrition and diabetes. So I think there have been great sessions on a variety of nutrition topics, including things like precision nutrition and how we're getting closer and closer to being able to potentially prescribe particular eating patterns according to someone's gut microbiome and their um, genetic makeup. And so I think someday all of us diabetes educators may have more information about what specific eating suggestions we can make to people to help them to be successful with living with diabetes. I think we've also seen some great sessions about uh, the diabetes educators and RDN's role in uh, helping people be successful with diabetes medications, particularly the uh, GLP-1s and GIP medications and how lifestyle intervention is still a very important part of using those medications and we diabetes educators are the experts in helping people with lifestyle intervention changes. Exactly, so how can we get started? I think, first of all, um, to watch some of these sessions, uh, the recordings of these sessions is a great place to get started, um, and to, to look at materials that are available when it comes to implementing these medications and, and lifestyle intervention uh, suggestions to make. Uh, and to just work on being sure that we're looking at the total care of individuals with diabetes, including what medications they're on and what help they need with uh, getting started with improving the, the self-care they're providing to their diabetes management strategies. Exactly, and we also have launched the seven eating patterns that Patty was referring to on our website at American Diabetes Association. So we took the consensus from 2019 with the patterns and we have outlined them in terms of like what would that benefit is it going to improve your a1c triglycerides cholesterol so people can reference it at, on our website and then how about the medication how can a diabetes care education specialist being a nurse or a dietitian or a pharmacist pharmacist start the conversation so people can see that the medication has a link to nutrition Exactly. So I think just being sure that we talk to people about what their diabetes medications are, see if they have any questions about them. I find often people aren't perhaps um, administering or taking the medications exactly the way it's recommended and we can help them with that. And then also just see are they having any eating issues related to some of those medications and using some of the strategies that are available from, from those drug companies to have, how to mitigate some of those side effects and just having some time to talk to them about what their eating is like and what changes they may need to make in order to be more successful with using those medications. Exactly. And a place for medical nutrition therapy with the, uh, with the protein, with the muscle mass loss, with the GLP-1. Exactly. So this one is also, we, and we know that a lot of uh, education recognition programs are linked with DSMES and MNT. So also incorporating that MNT element to further help a person with diabetes with muscle loss and then nutrition. Absolutely. So all educators can talk about healthy eating and lifestyle strategies. And then if the individual needs some more individualized counseling, everyone with diabetes should have the opportunity to work with a registered dietitian nutritionist to get some very specialized, specific help for their certain situation. Thank you. So three things out of this Spotlight on Diabetes Education. Number one, please visit our ADA um, website where we have the seven eating patterns identified. Number two, talk to people with diabetes, all the diabetes care education specialists, Talk to them about nutrition and the GLP-1s and personalized nutrition. And number three, once we identify the need to, um, to recommend medical nutrition therapy, make sure that they have access to registered dietitian for further uh, individualization of their nutrition. So Patty, thank you so much for finding time in your busy schedule yeah, to be here today welcome. with me. We appreciate you. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.